Hello, you're joining us back at Dukascopy TV HQ. I'm Natalie MacDonald and joining me in the studio now is Laurent Oberholzer of Tawi Pay to discuss remittances. Laurent, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Now, firstly, what are foreign exchange remittances and why are they an important part of the financial world? Well, remittances are the flow of funds from migrant workers back to their families in their home countries. Imagine, for instance, a Filipino worker here in Geneva, Switzerland, sending money back home uh, to her family in the Philippines every month. Those would be remittances. Now, remittances are important for several reasons. First of all, due to their size. In 2012, the total global amount of remittances exceeded 530 billion US dollars, more than 400 billion of which went to developing countries. Uh, and these figures are expected to grow at over 5% per year in the coming years. Um, in most developing countries, remittances have now become the main source of external financing, in fact, the most stable source, uh, in some countries even accounting for a third of gross domestic product. But perhaps the most important, uh, or rather the main factor why uh, remittances are important, is the use of funds. Surveys in Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, have shown that the money is used to pay for healthcare, education, to buy land, build houses, um, or to start small businesses. So this is money that is immediately reinvested into the local economy and has an immediate positive social impact. The World Bank, the G8 and the G20 have all publicly endorsed the objective of reducing remittances costs. Why is this and, and how exactly are they going to achieve those goals? Right, so back in 2009, the G8 countries uh, publicly uh, announced the goal of reducing the global average cost of remittances by five percentage points in five years, the 5 by 5 program. So back then, the global average cost was at 10%, and the goal was to reduce it to 5% by 2014. And in doing so, an estimated extra 16 billion US dollars would arrive in developing countries every single year. So now today in 2013, the global average cost is slightly above 9%, and therefore a reduction of only one percentage point has been achieved. So it's quite clear that they won't be uh, reaching their objectives. Now, remittance costs are high for several reasons. Uh, in many developing countries, there's still a very underdeveloped financial infrastructure. There's limited competition in the market. Um, there are regulatory obstacles. And remittance receivers don't always have access to the banking sector and therefore don't have access to alternative ways to receive money. But the main reason why remittance costs are high is due to a lack of transparency in the market. Uh, you see, remittance costs are, are composed of multiple variables. Typically, you'll have a transfer fee. This is the most explicit component of the cost, for example, uh, uh, a percentage of, of the nominal amount. Uh, then you'll have a currency conversion fee in the form of a bid-ask spread on the currency exchange rate, uh, and sometimes also a reception fee. And all these fees differ according to the, the, the type of, of transfer, for example, if you're transferring to a uh, mobile uh, device or to cash, uh, and the speed of transfer, for example, overnight or in the next hour. So therefore, this makes it very difficult to compare different remittance uh, services. So really, the best way to lower the cost of remittances is to offer, um, to increase transparency, for example, by offering publicly available databases with remittance costs. And this is what we at Taui Pay are, are building, uh, namely a platform uh, where one can compare um, the cost of different services uh, to send money abroad. You touched there a little bit on transfers, and the remittances market is dominated by traditional cash-based over-the-counter transactions. As it has with many other industries, should we expect the internet to disrupt money transfers? So we're already seeing the emergence of alternatives, for example, uh, in, the, uh, in online transfers, uh, Zoom or Asimo, uh, or M-Pesa in mobile transfers. And while cash remittances are growing at 3 to 4 percent year on year, we're seeing 28 percent growth in remittances via uh, electronic channels. Uh, in the past years, the market share of alternative channels has increased fourfold. So we believe that as the internet penetration rate in developing countries increases, that these trends will, will continue and indeed accelerate due to the speed, the convenience and, and of course the cost of transferring money via electronic channels. And so therefore, S with, with the rise of, of alternative channels and these new technologies, uh, we expect to see more information in the market, more transparency. Uh, with services such as ours at, at TawiPay, we expect to see and we hope to see um, a reduction in the cost of remittances in the future. 
Laurent, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your views today. Thank you, Natalie. Laurent Oberholzer there of Tawi Pay on the remittances market. Want to have your say? Click over to the Dukoscopy TV Facebook page and leave your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.